Right, Father Adrian, um, obviously crime, antisocial behaviour, vandalism and underage drinking are a problem in the area. Um, what changes have you seen over the years since you've been with the St Patrick's Church? Okay, I've been here for about three and a half years now. Um, and, and I don't know whether there's been that many changes really, just a, a sort of, I think I've, I've just seen a sort of a constant level of, of all of those things you mentioned, mm -hmm. obviously. With being next to the shops, we see the the drinking going on, the the gang sort of hanging around, mm -hmm. and just the general petty low level nature things really, which I guess I don't then see what goes on beyond mm -hmm. this actual immediate area. Um, have you noticed what what changes have you seen in terms of con con like the con your congregation, uh, in terms of attendance due to these issues? Is there has there been any change or? I think certainly our evening masses, especially during the winter when it's dark outside and mm -hmm. you know, it tends to be the evening when, when people are hanging around. That um, I mean, I've no evidence to say there's less people coming because of that, but you know, I, I think some people are, are put off by, by people hanging around. Mm -hmm. um, what changes would you like to see in the area? Um, I know, because I mean, I think with, with NYPD opening across the road, mm -hmm. I think that, that has helped to to some extent in that it's, it's giving the young people something to do. So I think th themselves and, and Manor residents are, are trying to work hard to, <coughs> to do things. Um, I guess my concern now is with the houses being built opposite mm -hmm. and taking up that place where people are starting out, That's right, yeah. whether the church grounds are now going to become a focus of, of the gatherings, mm -hmm. um, especially the areas we can't really see much of. Um, and I, really, I, I would like to know that there will be people who will you know, come and support and, and be able to move people on and hope that we don't really become the target of mm -hmm. the vandalism and, and the, the littering and things that generally do go Yeah, yeah. Um, do you have any specific ideas on what could possibly change people's attitudes around here? That's a new question. <laughs> I've just thought of that from the top of my head. Um, I, I'm a firm believer that if, if, if young people see people getting involved with them and working with them, and you know that might mean people sharing stories with them as well as doing things with them um a sharing of concerns and you know that I, I, I don't think young people are, are generally bad and i think they just don't really appreciate the effect that that their behavior can can have on older or, or more vulnerable people so i think if there were initiatives to try to to bring older and younger people together just to to share their fears and concerns mm -hmm. You know, from from both age perspectives, I feel that that could possibly help, just so that the young people then begin to understand some of the problems that they are creating.